Hi Old School fans, I'm Dan the Old School Conditioning Man, this is Old School Conditioning Training and welcome to part one of our brand new stick fighting series, Bartitsu Double Handed Walking Stick Fighting and yes, we're going to be doing some double handed stick work today and we're going to be going through the basic cuts and strikes, one, two, three, four, five and six, but also the guards and how to get from the ready to the engaging guard position. So, hope you enjoy the video and... Let's get learning how to use the double-handed heavy walking cane. And we'll go through this nice and slowly so we can pick it up and then over the next few weeks we'll speed it up and then start to add more and more techniques. All right, <clears throat> let's get on it. How to get from the walking or ready to the engaging guard position. So, Victorian gent is walking down, casually down the street, minding his own business, and suddenly we're confronted with a, an attack to our left-hand side. So the first thing we do is change our hand grip from the walking position where we have it on the top of the cane and we just slide our hand down into a full grip and then moving it across from the right to the left hand side of the body and then grasping it with the other hand so you're in an inline V grip okay just like holding a cricket bat and then you bring it to the left toe as you step forward Guarding our lead left foot as we step forward, bringing it up the body, okay, and into a high position, guarding anything on our left hand side, and we are then ready to strike either from our right or, or our left hand side. And then, if there is no strike coming from the top of the head, we finish an engaging guard there. And then back to the ready position. All right, so we're now doing it a little bit quicker. There. And if we face an attack to our right hand side, we simply just do the same, but stepping back with the right foot. So from our engaging guard, we're ready to strike. But before we start doing the strikes, I want to talk a little bit about guards. And I did say that I draw some influence from the Polish and Cossack cross-cutting sabre styles. And they have a very neat and easy way of remembering the guards. And it's all built around the structure of a house. And it's so much easier uh, to remember. All right, so it starts off with the roof of the house, okay? All right, the roof, the roof, the roof, the roof, the sides, the sides, the sides, the sides, the floor, the floor, the floor. So floor, 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 sides, sides, roof, roof. Back to engaging guard. How simple is that? So from our engaging guard, we're ready to do the first of the six strikes. And it's a cut one to the left-hand side of our opponent, uh, cutting through to his right-hand side in the diagonal strike. So we bring the stick round the back of the head, so we're guarding head, neck and shoulders. All right, stepping forward with our right foot, cutting through, the stick comes all the way back to our rear foot, okay, and we bring it back over to the opposite shoulder, all right, and then re-engaging guard on the opposite side, and then step back, and then cut through for cut one, step back, cut through, step back, cut through, step back, Cut through, step back, cut through, step back. All right, now let's try uh, the cut on the opposite side so we'll be right leg leading. This time it will be a cut two to the right hand side of the opponent's body, cutting through to his left hand side. It's exactly the same but in reverse. Okay, sweeping the stick down, protecting the head, neck, and shoulders, stepping through with our left foot. Diagonal cut to our rear leg, okay, and bringing that stick back over to engaging guard and stepping back, cut through, engaging guard, stepping back, cut through, engaging guard, stepping back, cut through, engaging guard, and stepping back. All right, so let's go back to our left leg leading. Let's do cuts one and two together. So, 
cut one, and then it comes over, and then this time we're gonna step back with our right foot, and then cut through, and then down, cut one, cut two, 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 back to engaging guard. Also from our engaging guard, we can do two other diagonal cuts, which are cut three and four, which cut one and two were downward striking diagonals, uh, cuts three and cut four are upward striking diagonals. Okay, so cut three, we'll start from here. I, the stick's gonna come backwards, okay? We're gonna drop it and step forward with our right foot, cutting through, okay? And then the stick's gonna come over the top, round the back, all right, back over, and then cut four, all right, back over, guarding the back, okay, cut three, over, cut, guarding the back, cut four, <coughs> over, behind our backs, protecting our back, cut three, cut four, 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 back to engaging guard. Okay, again, right, from our engaging guard, right, of left leg leading, okay, hands over our right shoulder, all right, tip of the point that came towards our left shoulder. We've also got two horizontal strikes, okay, and this is cut five and six, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to throw a cut five, which is an attack against, the horizontal attack against the opponent's left-hand side, cutting through to the right-hand side of his body, okay. So the cane just comes around over the top of the head, guarding against the head strike, okay, and then as it comes back around, we step forward with our right foot, cutting through, okay, all right, and then back round, onto the opposite side, step back, and bringing it round, guarding the top of the head, striking through, all right, and back into engaging guard, step back, bringing it round, through, back to engaging guard, step back, step, swinging round, the engaging guard, stepping back, all right, and <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let's we're gonna do all right, a cut five and a cut six, okay? All right, so we're gonna go a cut five, all right? And then stepping forwards with our right foot, we're gonna do a cut six to the right-hand side, cutting through to their opponent's left, okay? There. All right, so we'll do a cut five, stepping back. Cut six, stepping back. All right, so cut five and six together, but this time we're gonna be stepping forwards and backwards. All right, so we learn how to do it in forwards all right, and retreating. So cut five, cut six, cut five, Cut six, cut five, cut six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. Five, six. Ah, you basically how to do cuts one through six, all right? But let's now have a look all right, at how to do cuts one, two, three, four together.
Okay, so that was cuts one, two, three, four together, both forward and retreating. All right, now let's have a look at cuts one, two, three, four, five, and six all together. Cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four, cut five, cut six. Cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four, cut five, cut six, cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four, cut five, cut six, cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four, Cut five, cut six, cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four, cut five, cut six, cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four, cut five, cut six. That was cuts one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, and that wraps up today's video. Uh, I'm Dan, the Old School Conditioning Man. This has been Old School Conditioning Training, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. And don't forget, don't be no crazy fool, hit that subscribe button and follow down at Old School. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.